Well, hey everybody, it's The Matrix. And I thought I would talk you through what the hell is going on here. This is my mixed media project I did some time ago. And this is actually my redo. I did it once and then used Mod Podge to cover it, thinking that would be a, you know, it would dry clear and it'd be cool and protected. I used a different kind of band aid and it completely screwed the whole thing up. So I redid it. It's better. Part two. However, <clears throat> I figured this time I was going to resin coat it because I had some resin laying around. And this is what we're doing. So you, resin's pretty straightforward. You got to mix the two bottles together. First, make sure you're wearing gloves. Second, make sure you're in a ventilated area. Because some of the stuff can be a bit stanky. Um, this stuff doesn't really have a lot of odor. I bought it. Uh, it's actually some pretty good stuff I bought online. I don't remember the name of it. If I can, I'll post it. But I've worked with resin before, and it's you're gonna do a lot of experimentation. And the problem with the problem with that is it's extremely expensive unless like you buy it in mass bulk. So to properly coat this painting, well say painting but it's more of a mixed media um, piece I figured I'd record it and show you guys this is how you can do a regular painting you can you can do this same thing on, on a regular acrylic painting versus varnish you could always you know make sure you're using a good heavy-duty canvas because believe me, when you put the resin on these things, it adds a tremendous amount of weight to the canvas, and you have to take that into consideration. Um, this is a uh, artist loft level three, so it's uh, 24 by 12 and one and a half inches thick, I believe. But yeah, once you get it on there, you got to manipulate it. I had I had just enough to cover it and I'm probably going to do a second coat to be honest. But you just mix it up. You're going to get bubbles. You're going to have to torch it. Be quick with your torch. Don't leave it at any one point for any amount of time. You're going to have to let it sit. You kind of I mean, I, I don't know. I'm no expert with resin, but I know you kind of have, for me, I've had to babysit it because the reason being is it's dripping down the side. So you have to periodically come around and, you know, take, I use like a popsicle stick or something and drag it around the rim, around the under edge, or you're going to have a bunch of resin droplets and it's going to make it hard to hang and look like crap. So what I'm doing right there, you're you're gonna you're gonna do over the next couple hours maybe, depending on how big the canvas is. Just so you don't get a lot of, because once it dries, it dries rock solid. <laughs> I mean I don't know how solid it is, but it's it's pretty damn solid, and it's pretty cool. I did provide some video at the end here because taking photos of it with the lights it's just going to glare as you'll see here i did my best that i could uh with with taking pictures but the glare is just it's too much and see here's the video showing showing you around it and giving you a different angle and it probably added a three pounds to it. <laughs>
maybe four. Yeah, so that's how you resin a painting. It's it's not brain surgery, but it can be messy, and you better lay down some cardboard or something because this stuff, when it dries, whatever it dries to, it's there. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> There's some serious stuff. I'd like to do do more experimenting with it, but it's just so damn expensive. But I think it was fitting for this one. And if you like this, I did shoot a video of me creating this fantastic piece of mixed media abstract art. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you learned something, maybe. If not, hey, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe, you know. <laughs>